Takoyaki Cafe. Located in between Guam Reef and Weston Hotel in Tumon, call them today at 648-TAMA. Holiday and welcome back. Now it's been exactly one month since the untimely passing of good friend Chris Bajado. Now over the course of six years here at KAOM, I've done several interviews and features with Chris, but they've all been food related. It was only after his passing that I found out that he had other passions, a passion for surfing, a passion for preserving the Chamorro culture, and a passion for seafaring. In this next story, we find out a little bit more about the group Litao, Chris's involvement, and how they're keeping his memory alive as they make their journey to Festpack 2020. Here's Mark. It was back in 2004 when Ron Ekfaji first met Chris Bojado at the Festival of the Pacific Arts in Palau. We just got together and hung out for a little bit during our time there. Time would pass and eventually in 2013 Ekfaji would form Ulitao, a group of passionate Guam Islanders rediscovering and reviving Chamorro seafaring skills. Its purpose? To perpetuate the Chamorro culture through seafaring. As the group started building canoes, a problem arose when Ekfaji was having difficulty securing a sail. It was Bahado to the rescue. Again, Chris and I got together and we talked about, you know, having him sponsor us and put the big pro sign up because I'm very proud of what he's been doing, you know, and he's always helped us all in just in small ways. He'll come around, he'll contribute to TJS or bring down some lunch from the pro restaurant just out of nowhere. He's always in the early morning, he'll come down and see us and give the kids banellas and he's gone comes and goes. He just, just keeps doing that. According to Ekfaji, later he would bump into Bahado at the store and ask if he would be willing to sponsor Ulitao and its efforts. I said, would you be willing to sponsor him? He just jumped in and said, let's go, let's do it. And then after the two canoes were built, uh, Ulitao, which is the one right here, Agua is still down in uh, at Ipaw Beach, but um, he purchased two sails. We had it put together and then we did a blessing. At that moment, he asked Chris if he would like to be a part of the crew and offered to train him. And suddenly he jumped right into it and said, let's go. When do you want to start? So we had six sessions together, him and I, you know, and the crew. And he just immediately got into it and just fell in love with it. We were preparing for the fest pack and I said, I need a crew. I need someone who can help me man the biggest canoe that we built, 33. And that's what we thought. And I asked him if he could do it. He says, yeah. Can you crew this? Can you, can you captain? You be the, we call it the, the Felina for this group, you know, the, the navigator and the, the chief of the, and he says, yeah. He was always very funny. He was always, he was always had a big smile on his face and when he'd be steering, you know, he just felt like uh, he was part of the whole, the whole concept out of the ocean. According to Akfaji, he had told Chris that after Festpack wrapped up, this was as far as he wanted to go and that he wanted to take a break. Why don't you just stick around? We'll work on it together and we'll do this together. And I said, sure, if you want, you know, if you want to just, you know, be spiritually, if I know you're busy, but if you can, if you can just give me the little encouragement, more aggressive, I'll, I'll keep, we'll keep it alive and we'll keep going. That was when the Valley of the Laddie offered a spot along the Talafofo River route. I thought this was a good thing and I brought Chris in and said, come on. Let's talk about this. Let's come down and see. This is our home. We've been looking for a home. And uh, he said, man, this is, this is a good start. Let's just do this. Let's keep going. Eventually, we'll fall in this place. Let's go to the Festival in Hawaii. We need to go to Hawaii, Ron. We need to show them that we are the oldest of, of the Austronesian clan, and we want to come to represent our Chamorro culture. A ribbon cutting was held on July 14th, acknowledging Ulitao's new home, and sadly, Chris would pass four days later. As long as it's in front of us, everybody knows that's Chris. So we want to keep, we want to keep looking at that and keep reminding ourselves that uh, we have an obligation. We now have a strong obligation because of his, not only just his aura, but his passion for the culture. And and uh, for him, for him leaving us at a younger, at a young stage, you know, or too early for all this. Uh, we want to make sure that you know we'll keep him alive throughout, through, you know, throughout our, our journey. On August 1st, Ulita took part in a paddle out memorial for Chris. Hundreds came out to remember and honor a man who had a passion for surfing, seafaring, and preserving the Chamorro culture. When asked if he had a special memory, Ekfaji spoke of a canoe called the Mahetuk that wasn't supposed to be taken out until it was blessed. Finally got the sail done and we're sitting out waiting for the crew to come. Nobody showed up. So him and I just looked at each other. 
stick my head to God. I said, no, we can't take my head to God until we bless it first. <laughs> Let's take my head to God. So we did. We took my head to God and we went crazy on it. Him and I, just uh, the two of us. And it was really windy, but uh, we had the time of our life. According to Kwaji, they lost two kulus inside the reef and ended up walking the canoe in. Walked with pride, the, the lahi snap, the mass snap, the yard and the boom snap, but we had a great time, him and I, and uh, that's why it's very, <laughs> very personal because this one is, he, him and I were the first one I actually taken to God after it was built. On October 1st and 2nd, the Valley of the Ladi and Ulitao will be hosting the first annual Ifiestin Sazen Tosi, or the Festival of the Canoes at the Talafopo River. It will be in Chris's memory. We'd like to uh, eventually continue to keep the, the, the knowledge going. We'd like to prepare now for the fest back in 2020. We want to represent our Chamorro people, come down with a, with a fleet of outrigger canoes uh, to represent Micronesia and our Chamorro people, especially more. A big thank you to Ron and the entire staff of the Valley of the Laddie. Stick around, we have more in the mix when we return. <laughs>